All right. Today, I'm gonna be making a couple of fish shelters in the pond here before it fills up. So I want a couple of fish shelters to give these fish uh, when they come here a place to hide and uh, that's naturally what they want to do. They want to stay under cover. And there really isn't much here except for the pier there. And so adding some fish shelters is probably going to help for the fish to feel a little more secure. And also it's kind of a place where you know where the fish are at uh, when you're fishing. If I get crappie, they're definitely going to be hanging around these fish shelters. Definitely bass will. And uh, the reason I chose this uh, PVC pipe is because if you cast and it gets hooked around it, it should slide right off. It's not going to get hung up like uh, logs would. So that's the idea. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. A couple of them, maybe one right here and one over there. And I'm going to use some cement to firmly get them into the ground and stay, stay there. I brought a couple of five gallon buckets. And so I'm going to be using those to put the, uh, the PVC pipes in. Wow, that's pure clay right there. That's about as pure as it gets. That's what keeps this water in this pond. Except for evaporation, you can't really control that, but this clay is ideal for a pond. So what I'm going to do is put some concrete in the bottom with the, with the post or the uh, PVC pipe. I just want to make sure that the concrete keeps it hard and firm in place. If it was all dirt, then it would probably sag to the right or left at some point because of the water. Lordy. Wait, so you haven't even mixed up the concrete? No, you don't have to mix it up. You just have to put water on it. Yeah. 
gonna pour in the water. Yeah. That's it. What do you think? You think that's good? I mean, if I was a fish, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's technically like a hotel. You can just slide right in here. Yeah, it's true for the small ones. Yeah, you can hide from the big predators. Yep. There's a lot of quartz down here with this clay. You can see there, the whole thing is quartz. They just have like a thin vein running through this, uh, running through this clay. So it could be a thin long vein of uh, quartz. And then there's some kind of purple color stuff and some iron looks like in here. So oh, where'd all them frog goes? Oh, they got eaten, I betcha. Boy, it just hibernated for the winter. Maybe. Right 
All right. That looks good. It's all the way in. Yeah, that'll work. Too long. Perfect. All right, so I got the fish shelters in, and uh, I think they're a good height. So this is down at about the 10 foot mark on the pond, and these are probably about maybe eight feet up. Okay, we still need water. You can see the blue heron has been by. <laughs> Going after the fish that I put in here. Anyway, looks pretty good. Hopefully this works out. I'm, uh, I've never done this before, so I'm assuming that this wouldn't work. I don't have to worry about ultraviolet rays because they're underwater. Otherwise, I'd be painting the, v, uh, the PVC with something, some kind of paint. Well, that looks pretty good. I could have probably put them a little closer together. I don't know. You know, up and down vertically. But that's okay. We'll see how it works out. I didn't put one in the center because I want to be able to cast from the pier up here and kind of cast out in the center. And uh, again, you know, if I cast over here, I'm hoping that because it's smooth that my line, my hook will go right over it. I think the only way that it might get caught is if I get a catch a fish hook it and then it wraps itself around then I don't really have any way to deal with that probably just break my line so there you go that was about an hour and a half of work maybe an hour probably not an hour and a half felt like it because I was rushing because I don't want to get uh caught in the dark trying to do this here's the top it'd be nice if you could actually see the uh depth so no depth perception here with videos unless you got the 3d i 
That looks pretty good though. I like it. That's about where I want it. All right, that's this video for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. And always, if you have any comments or questions, please put them underneath. And uh, everybody can take a look at it, including myself. And uh, sometimes I get some really good advice from you guys out there. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next channel.